What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video I'm going to show you guys an interesting single player glitch in GTA 5 that lets you customize police vehicles. Now, as many of you know, the police vehicles are storable in single player, so you will be able to keep these vehicles. So to start this, you're going to want to start off as the character that you want the police vehicle to be on, the one that you're going to store the vehicle with in the garage. So I'm going to start off as Michael here. You're going to steal a vehicle from the street and you're going to want to try to steal a car that is highly customizable, one that has a lot of options in Los Santos Customs. So once you steal the vehicle, you're going to make your way over to Los Santos Customs with the stolen vehicle. And once you're inside of Los Santos Customs, what you're going to do is you're going to upgrade it as much as possible. You're going to upgrade everything from the engine parts, the transmission. You're going to upgrade the things like the fenders, the spoiler, the hood and choose the highest option on each one that you have available and then once you've done that you you can do um make sure you do the tires too set some rims and set the enhanced tires that have the words on them so once you've done all of these things and upgraded everything as much as you can you're going to exit los santos customs with this vehicle and you're going to make your way over to a police station so once you make your way over to the police station, you're going to want to locate some police vehicles. And I usually just use this first one right here, but it works with either one of them. You're going to steal that police vehicle and you may get shot at. So just be careful of that, that you don't get killed. You're going to steal the police vehicle and you're going to make your way to the water. And I would suggest coming over to the location where the helipads are because that works very good. You're going to make your way to some area that has like a ramp that leads into the water. And what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of slowly inch your vehicle into the water very slowly so that you don't end up accidentally destroying it and you want to turn on your sirens on the top and just keep looking at your sirens and as you're slowly going into the water you'll notice you'll eventually reach a point where your sirens break on the top and mine are kind of damaged so you can't see it that well but when your sirens are fully intact you'll notice that they kind of like stay in an on position they stop flashing your vehicle is not destroyed but they kind of like stay in an on position. So once you notice this, you're gonna immediately hold down the D-pad or whatever the button is on your system to switch over to another single player character. So you saw my sirens just kind of paused right there. I'm gonna switch over to another single player character. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna play as this other character for maybe about 10 to 15 seconds, long enough for the game to register that you actually switched over. And then you're going to switch back to the character that you started with. So to give you guys a brief little explanation, this is basically transferring those customization options from the first vehicle over to the police vehicle. And because they're different vehicles, not everything will transfer successfully. For the most part, the only things you'll really be able to get on the police car are upgraded rims, the special tires that have words on them, a little hood scoop, and you can also get a little spoiler. Those are the only ones that I know of, and maybe Fenders as well, but that's pretty much it. I haven't found anything else yet that transfers, and not all vehicles will transfer either. As you guys are about to see right here, I didn't get the hood scoop and the spoiler, I just got the wheels. So you will have to do a little trial and error with different vehicles to see what works, but eventually you can get some very cool vehicles that have options that you normally can't put on the police vehicle because you can't customize it at all. And I'm going to put up an image on the screen of that little spoiler and hood scoop to show you guys what that looks like if you do successfully get that part. It's really just trying some different vehicles out and seeing what works. And once you do this glitch, you can then drive it over to your garage and you can store it in there permanently. Now, this does work with other police vehicles too. And in theory, this would probably work with a number of other utility vehicles that you can't normally customize. I've only tried it with this one vehicle, but if anybody successfully customizes another uncustomizable vehicle in single player let me know in the comments down below so unfortunately there is no known way to do this in online as of now but still a pretty fun little trick to do in single player especially because you can just drive it into your garage and save it forever so if you guys found this video helpful in any way at all hit that like button down below and if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button for more amazing gta 5 content just like this and as always guys thank you for watching from xm360